chest cold. Sure, and it's not medicine you want for that. Uh, what you need is a warm-blooded Irishman. <laughs> it is lucky for yourself that your carriage broke down here. A little further on, and you'd be at the mercy of uh, roadway thieves and heaven knows what sorts of evil types. The question is, am I any safer here? For my sake, I hope not. <laughs> Girl, do you know that? Come, give us a kiss. <laughs> I don't even know if you're married. Are you? Not seriously. <laughs> oh! I don't suppose you'd care to explain why you did that. In the land where I come from, it's a courting custom. When a lady is interested in a gentleman, she plucks a hair from his beard. If she's very interested, she plucks two. And if she plucks three... Aye, what then? Like, wow! Sure, I'm starting to like this custom of yours. <laughs> Makes it uh, kind of a game, eh? The suspense is killing me. Are you gonna pluck the third? <laughs> No, oh, and the seats be Franklin, you said yourself it was time to go back. And so I shall, sir. After this, dear lady and I have a night, as you put it, on the town. <laughs> and didn't you once say early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise? Yes, I did. I did. But that was before the electric light. <laughs> Don't you think that your escort should be more appropriately dressed? I I'll get one of Darren's suits. No, 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 no. I can do it. Is this a button loose on your coat, Mr. Franklin? Oh, <laughs> Terrell, Terrell, morning glorious, correct apparel, apparel, Sator, Satorius. <laughs> oh, I goofed again. Oh, no. No, Aunt Clara, you look beautiful. Madam. You are a vision of loveliness. <laughs> oh, I congratulate you all for living in this marvelous 20th century where such things are possible. Oh, let us go on, madam. <laughs> well, uh, don't wait up, children. <laughs> Good night. I'm sure they'll be all right, sweetheart. After all, they're both over 200. <laughs> Disguised as a bird. What disguise? <laughs> so I've been made a committee of one to petition Your Majesty for pardon for all of us. Are there many of you? I'd hate to tell you how many. Tituba had a pretty short fuse, you know. One wrong word and bingo, we were transformed. Well, I... Uh, Darren, don't tell me we woke you. All right, I won't tell you. 
I always get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, forgive me for not waiting in line, Your Majesty, but could you spare a moment of your time? Certainly. You may withdraw. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I've got a meeting with a man who is the president of one of the largest steel companies in the country. Now, his advertising account is worth over eight and a half million dollars in billing. If I can swing him over to our agency, they've got to give me a bonus. Oh? Or at least make me a partner. Oh, well, that's wonderful, sweetheart. It won't be if I fall asleep during that meeting. <laughs> Most of this activity is caused by the changeover in administration. It'll taper off, you'll see. It better taper, and soon. I'm gonna get myself a glass of milk. <laughs> you can tell your friends I'll pardon them all. <gasps> you will? Oh, thank you, Your Majesty, thank you. Tell them to assemble here Tomorrow. Uh, but remember, not before 12. Thank you. Hey, there. Uh, you there. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, there. What are you doing? What is it? Uh, I was just wondering uh, what you were doing. It don't take much brains to figure out this ain't for butchering chickens, do it? No, it don't. Don't. Lucky for you, His Majesty is busy having a masked ball. Because I haven't got the orders yet. <laughs> Andorra, I never dreamed I'd welcome your interference, but here goes. In trouble again? Again? I've never been out of it. But we've got to get to Samantha right away. The king executed his fifth wife this morning, and he's planning to make Sam number six in the big parade. That is grim. Well, what are you waiting for? Open the door. And how would you suggest I do that? Give it a zap. For your information, darling, since this is the 16th century, I do not have my powers. Well, why not? Because it's the 16th century, and I wasn't even born yet. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Look here, Derweed. I only have the power to get here and to leave here. Uh, okay, okay. I'm only staying because Samantha needs her mama. If you don't have your powers, how are you going to get me out of here? Well, I'll just have to use my native ingenuity. I'm dead. <laughs> you there! Come here at once! What are you doing here? There are no visitors allowed. For your information, my good man, I am not a visitor. I am here by the order of His Majesty Henry VIII, King of England, France, and King of Ireland. You are? He has asked me to check on the conditions of the prisoners. I am a Pole. You are? This prisoner has a gold coin in his possession. Give me the coin. There. You see? You know that prisoners are not to have gold. Your eyes are getting very heavy. Gold is the root of all evil. You're getting so tired. And this chain is definitely a dangerous weapon. You want to sleep. See? He's out. <laughs> oh, wouldn't you know it? Oh, Derwood, Derwood, wake up, wake oh, up. Oh, Andorra, am I glad to see you. I was having this ridiculous nightmare that I was back in the 16th. It's a real nightmare. Here, take the coins. Now tell me this, did you try? Did you 
you try to approach Samantha? Oh, yes. She wouldn't have a thing to do with me. Oh, if that had only happened when you first met. Now, come on. Let's find Samantha. Wait. What? What about him? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'll give him a post-hypnotic suggestion. When you wake, you'll feel rotten. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry about Larry spoiling our trick-or-treating, but I just couldn't help it. Well, that's all right, dearest. We all know business is business. Daddy coming. No, Daddy has to stay home and wait for Aunt Louise and Uncle Larry. <laughs> I, I remember, just ordinary trick-or-treating, no one. Darren, I am shocked. On Halloween? This is amateur night. <laughs> Come on. Have a good time. Get lots of goodies. Bye bye. Say bye bye to Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Bye bye. <laughs> Your friends are pretty scary, sweetheart. <laughs> if I didn't know you were a goblin, I would say you were little Billy Watkins. <laughs> well, whoever you are, would you like to go trick-or-treating with Tabitha? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, no, sweetness. We're not going anywhere near them tonight. I want to go play with them. Don't argue with Aunt Gladys, sweetness. <laughs> there. One, two, three, and four. Come oh, back. My. What do you say? Right. You're very welcome, I'm sure. Come on, sweetheart. Come along, kids. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> good night and good hunting, children. Tabitha, no. No, you mustn't do that. They did it. Now, none of that, Missy. If you don't behave yourself, I'm gonna have to take you home. Let's go, kids. Here, now stop. <laughs> I thought I told you kids to beat it. <laughs> Just about enough. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Here's your candy. You can have the candy. Just get them out of here. <laughs> now, you children, go on. Tabitha has to go home. She's not going to trick or treat anymore tonight. Go on. <laughs> Listen here, young lady. I've got to get you home before you psych out the entire neighborhood. <laughs> I'm surprised at you. After I warned you not to do any tricks. Not me, Mommy, my friend. <laughs> well, that just makes it worse, blaming it on other people. All right, young lady, you're going straight to bed. 
Chairman, Mrs. Darren Stevens, we have a special magic act tonight that is full of surprises. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Zeno. <laughs> oh, Ruth, the curtain, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> The lady deserves beautiful flowers. <laughs> Next, a vase. Or is it vase? And uh, here it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, here it was. <laughs> And no applause. I told you I'd fly. Do the next trick. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take this rope and cut it in half with this pair of scissors. Oh, that's wrong. Go ahead, go ahead. And bring the two separate pieces back together again by magic. Voila! <laughs> One piece of rope. <laughs> Did you see that? All of a sudden, he's good. And she gave him a funny look. Yeah, you should look so funny. <laughs> and what would a magic act be without the old rabbit from the hat trick? A few passes of the magic wand. And... saw rabbits jumping before. <laughs> 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 